Namaste Swamiji. Namaste. Uh, my name is Ruchi. Ruchi. I have another mom question for you. Okay. <laughs> my uh, 11 year old, he asked me the simple question, can you define God? Hmm. And I'm stumped. I've been listening to you for years. <laughs> I throw all these Vedantic terms at him and it makes no he's like he likes to think that he is very scientific and analytical hmm. and that is why he's like you you can't even define God and you're asking me to you know think about it so how do i define to an 11 year old hmm. i would reply is uh, forget god what are you what are you are you just this 11 year old body but weren't you 10 years old uh, last year weren't you 5 years old 5 years 6 years ago weren't you 1 year old 10 <laughs> years ago which body are you are you all of them right now impossible are you one year old and five year old and 10 year old and 11 year old right now impossible are your mind thoughts feelings ideas those ideas which you have now as a smart 11 year old grown up boy did you have them when you were in kindergarten no the kindergarten mind was enormously different does a baby in the pram have those thoughts the scientific thoughts which you have in your mind no you had but you had a baby's mind uh, 10 years ago so are you the mind well i was all of those but all of those but won't you won't you saying that wouldn't you say you were that baby you were that kindergarten kid and you are the smart 11 year old now then who is that you so the answer i mean obviously Um, the kid won't be able to give the answer we can't give the answer ourselves so you have to find out the answer for yourself but that uh, is an answer i would give to uh, anybody who asks me the question define god when we are advaita vedanta you are god if you find you if you know who you are really you will find god uh, once sri ramakrishna says manush nije ke chinte parle bhagwan ke paaye if a human being if a man realizes who is recognizes himself comes to know himself if you come to know yourself you come to know god All right. A simple definition of God, which is given in all religions which believe in God, is there is a power behind this cosmos, behind this universe. Behind means not physically behind like a curtain, that which gives rise to this cosmos, in which exists this cosmos, into which this cosmos finally dis- disappears and comes up again in this cycle. Um, if you ask, so. It's, science doesn't say that but science science has just gone up to a kind of a paradox you know what's the first thing that the, 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 the deepest thing that science can say about this physical universe gone beyond atoms subatomic particles uh, quarks what's even a smaller super strings and there are very extraordinary things which are saying uh, what's that what's beyond that we still don't know Yes, science doesn't prove God, doesn't uh, claim to establish God, but can't disprove God either. So far, the thing is, when you talk about God in religion, you have to admit this clearly that there is a certain amount which we don't understand when we take on faith. God of religion, theistic religions, are also faith-based. There is there is always a component of belief there. That belief does not mean it's false. It's just that we don't. a uh, grasp it yet it's it's beyond our understanding and uh, and that's a sign of intelligence actually i mean that i don't know and this is for our uh, us i don't know if a school boy will understand that there is an intelligence beyond a school boy intelligence there is an intelligence which begins to see that uh, um the concept of god is not uh, not a light concept uh, in, in hindi they say halka otherwise look at the cutting edge scientific institute the institute of advanced studies in princeton university all right you might say what does that have to do with god do you know some of the most powerful minds of the 20th century were there einstein was there and who else was there good godel was there the leading uh, mathematician logician of even till today nobody has surpassed him what was the last thing that godel was working on I'm not making it up. Look up. Look it up. A proof of the existence of God. The most powerful minds there. You know. The, you know the f- f- the prize they give 
the highest prize in mathematics there's no nobel for mathematics it it's the fields medal and of all the fields medal which have ever been awarded i think half or more than half have been received by people who worked in this one institute institute of advanced studies it's not that they got it when they were working there but they ultimately worked there so more than half the fields medal recipients ever in history in the last i mean it's not a long history but uh, they worked in that one institute and in that one institute without any uh, any controversy the most brilliant one among them was godel and the last thing he was working on was almost the last thing was the existence of god there is even godel's proof of the existence of god i looked it up i didn't understand a single <laughs> line of it <laughs> it's all <laughs> anyway but but my point is that it make it even more uh, contemporary there is this um, super strings this uh, physicist who works on super strings um you tell me his name ed uh, he is some one magazine called him the nearest thing that we have got to einstein today in the world uh, he, he um i keep always forget his name uh, he is the most extraordinary i think one of the most extraordinary living theoretical physicists in the world edwitton yes edwitton his speciality is super strings okay i haven't met him but i've heard about him and i've met so many people who know him but what i'm going pointing to is if you look him up on youtube ed witten on consciousness consciousness is not his subject at all he's uh, his field is uh, theoretical physics uh, cosmology but um uh, in an interview somebody just asked him so what do you think of this problem of consciousness of consciousness and brain this problem and his answer is stunning even the interviewer didn't get what he was saying but if you see from a vedantic perspective if you see what he is saying it is very interesting he said he is a very soft spoken person you can see the enormous intelligence in his uh, answers he says i think as the years go we will learn more and more about the brain but consciousness will remain a mystery learning about the brain will not explain consciousness very interesting and the interviewer said oh you want consciousness to remain a mystery and <laughs> you we will most of us will just roll our eyes at that point <laughs> he was very he just smiles a little bit and he said this is not exactly i didn't mean that <laughs> we'll look it up ed witten on consciousness youtube this short clip but very very moving good yes uh can we take